Hi, this is Stacy Chalemi from the Complete Herbal Guide, and today I'd like to discuss if some vitamins and supplements can be harmful to the body. Vitamins and supplements have been very trending for a long time now. There are so many supplements and vitamins on the market. Everybody's taking something. They want to make their body feel better. They want to heal themselves, or they just want to maintain optimal health. Now, all that's great, but a lot of times people take vitamins and supplements and they don't even know a lot about it. Or they'll just pick up a, a bottle of vitamins or a bottle of supplements off the aisle and they'll just buy it without even looking at the ingredients. Now this could be very dangerous. The first reason, if you take medication, you always have to make sure that your vitamins don't interact or your supplements don't interact with the medication you're taking because that in itself can be very dangerous. If you take medications like blood pressure medication or high cholesterol medication, depression medication, anti-convulsion medication, you should always consult with your doctor before taking certain vitamins and supplements. Now a lot of times when people go down the aisle or go to a vitamin store or even shop online to buy vitamins and supplements, a lot of times they don't look at the ingredients to see what's actually in the vitamins or supplements. I'd like to share a story with you about a couple of years back. A couple of years ago I had cut my hair short and I was having a hard time. After a while I got sick of the short look and I wanted to grow my hair long and I was having a really hard time trying to grow my hair long. My hair wasn't growing the way it used to. So I wanted to get biotin. I figured biotin is really great for your hair. It helps to make your hair thicker. It can help with the growth of hair. And so I went to buy biotin. Now even I make mistakes. I saw the, the front of the label and I saw certain things that I look for in vitamins and I was like, oh, this is going to be good. I like this and I like this brand. So I went and I bought it and it was extra strength so it had 10,000 milligrams of biotin. It wasn't your normal 1,000 or 5,000 milligrams. Usually people recommend that you take 1,000 milligrams, but I had bought the extra strength from this brand. And I was taking it for a while, and I noticed that my hair was growing really uh, thick, and it was starting to grow fast, and I, I was really pleased on the outcome of my hair. But then I started to get some joint and muscle pain. And I, I didn't even associate it at first that it could be the supplement that I was taking. I started noticing that my, my legs were starting to feel really stiff. My hands were starting to feel stiff. I was waking up in the morning and my hips especially were hurting me. And I was like, oh my God, at my age I shouldn't be feeling like this. I had such bad joint pain and muscle pain and stiffness in my, um, in my, all over my body. And so I, you know, for months I tried to figure out what was going on and it just wasn't getting better. I started exercising less and I just wasn't happy with the way I was feeling. I have arthritis in my family so I thought, well, maybe this is the beginning stages. So I went to my herbalist and I told him about this and he had given me blood work to just do a whole blood workout to see what was going on in my body. And on my level for... Um, Bio, I, I found that this, this bottle, this brand that I was using, had lots of other vitamins and supplements in it. And it had a high level of vitamin B12 in it and a high level of vitamin A. Those were the two most abundant sources in this bottle. And over time, it just accumulated in my bloodstream. My blood level for vitamin B12 was actually 2,000 the norm is 200 and I also had a little high level of vitamin A. Now vitamin A is a good vitamin but too much of it can be toxic to the body and not realizing that taking this for such a long period of time it was just just building up in my system and I was taking remember extra strength I wasn't taking the normal dosage but I didn't think anything of it because um, there's no bad side effects of biotin Right now, in uh, they have, haven't found anything bad or any bad side effects or um, for biotin, so I didn't think that it was the biotin causing this. 
But once I realized when he told me my levels were so high and I looked at the biotin, I was like, oh my goodness, look at the, the big amount of vitamin B12 and the big amount of vitamin A that's in this vitamin supplement. And it just built up in my bloodstream. I stopped taking this brand right away. And after a couple days, I noticed, believe it or not, that after just a couple of days of not taking it at all, my muscles started to, to loosen up. The pain in my hips and in my legs and in my hands were actually starting to get less and less. And as time went on, it disappeared completely. It wasn't arthritis. It was the supplement that I was taking. I was taking the extra strength. It was 10,000 milligrams. And I was taking it for a very long time. And it had a lot of other vitamins and supplements, not just biotin. And it just was toxic to the body. The vitamin B12, I have, till this day, I don't know for sure if it was the vitamin B12 or the, um, or the vitamin A or just a combination of both. With my own judgment, I think it was a combination of both. But as soon as I stopped taking it, I felt so much better. I, you know, I started feeling the, all the pain that I was experiencing for seven or eight months went away completely. And I just, you know, I was so mad at myself for not looking at the ingredients and not looking at how many milligrams in each vitamin supplement that came along with this biotin um, bottle. So for now, what I do now, I still take biotin, but I take pure biotin straight. I don't take any, if it has extra vitamins to help you with this, that, or the other thing, I don't take it. I just take 100% natural pure biotin. But I wanted to tell you this story because I wanted to give you an idea. When you buy things in the market or you buy things online or if you buy things in the vitamin store, make sure you read the ingredients because you don't know what too much, you know, after you, even if you're doing what, the, what it says, if it says take one daily or two times daily, it builds up in your bloodstream. And a lot of times some of these vitamins and supplements, if they build up in your bloodstream, everybody reacts differently and it could actually cause negative side effects to your body. So always be cautious, always look at the back of the vitamins or the supplement ingredients. Make sure you know what you're taking and always take exactly what the dosage is supposed to be. And if you don't feel right, then discuss it with your doctor or maybe look at the vitamins and supplements that you're taking and maybe stop taking them for a little bit to see if it's maybe one of the vitamins and supplements causing some negative symptoms in your body. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you some knowledge and some insight about vitamins and supplements. They're very powerful. Even in pharmaceuticals, they use supplements and they use vitamins when they're making medications. So it shows you how potent and how, how powerful these supplements and vitamins really are. Always be careful and always make sure you know what you're buying. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Be sure to sign up for my newsletter. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment box. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your insight yourself. And if you've had a similar situation, I'd love to hear about it. Have a great day. Thank you.